Some kiss bells for that arrangement of the Ukrainian anthem. An anthem identifies a country and their home. Home is something we all understand no matter where we're from. We here on the University of Manitoba campus are on the homeland of the Metis Nation and on the traditional territories of the Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota, and Dene peoples. In our own country's history, we have much work to be done in reconciliation for the harms and mistakes of the past. Let us continue to look inward and look for ways at home to bring peace and opportunities for collaboration within our own land. A short announcement, uh, Casey and Anna have had to withdraw today from the concert, so regrettably we will not be hearing the flute sonata but Casey's selection is one that I am familiar with, so we will get to hear that. Music connects us with times and history, places and people. We have heard and seen many images recently of Ukrainians singing together, musicians playing for people in the streets to keep their spirits up, or meeting refugees as they cross the border into neighboring countries. Songs My Mother Taught Me surely describes how meaningful music is to people. I am going to ask that for today's concert, we withhold until the end of the concert. Thank you.
and the clouds blow over and darken as long as the Lord God's watching over them, keeping track how it all goes by. But I've been walking through the night and the day till my eyes get weary and my hair turns gray. Thank you. 
for a program, music not by Ukrainian composers, but by composers who have a great sense of compassion or understanding about war. Um, I invite the performers of the second half to come and take part in a semicircle. What you may not be able to see from where you are watching at home is that we've tried to create a circle in this room where we feel a sense of community and belonging and oneness towards this cause of peace. Uh, I also want to mention at this time, if you're watching online or even here in the room, that there are links for you to help make donations for those in need in the Ukraine, even here at home on the campus. So um, you will see them on your link. And here in our program, we have uh, QR codes that you can scan and find out about the different organizations that are recommended by Charity Intelligence Canada knowing that your funds will be, will be used quickly and efficiently to help those in need in Ukraine. Uh, I, I encourage you to take a few moments and read about those organizations. Uh, I'd also like to add right now that in the last piece, Alice McGregor will be joining the other two women in the, in the uh, uh, piece, um, the final piece of the program. That's everything and we'll start this.
Everyone, um, that would be important to mention the significance of the song before I start. So I'll be performing, I'll be improvising on Vina Katra, which is a Ukrainian folk song, which depicts a conversation between uh, a mother and a son who's about to go off to war. And uh, Vina Katra translates to floating duck, which is used as a melody uh, throughout the piece, which represents the son going off to war, uh, likely not to return.
dearest mother of mine, you had many sleepless nights. You led me to the fields at the edge of the village, and you saw me off at dawn on my long journey, and gave me an embroidered towel for luck. And on this little towel will come alive the familiar pain, my childhood, our parting, and your faithful motherly love.
going to invite everybody who performed today to come up. And I know we haven't a huge audience here, but we thank you all for coming. I thank all the participants for offering their music of their own culture. We heard so much new Ukrainian music. Thank you so much for sharing that, for the arrangement of the anthem, for the sharing of all your talents. Thank you so very, very much. Peace in Ukraine. Thank <laughs> you.